There's another fish. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. G'day guys, it's your boy now, Shaggy Short and back for another episode of Fisherman's Diary. Town and I, Luca, Clarence Head Caravan Park, got our little motel room, getting my stuff rigged, got some new shoes, got some new baits, got some gloves, because I'm going to be one of them, just kidding, there for the rock pools. But anyway, we've got four days off, I'm down here, uh, solo for my birthday, it's on Thursday, today's Monday, uh, so we're going to do a bunch of fishing over the next four days, target a bunch of different stuff, see how we go. First port of call is going to be plastics this afternoon, so I'm going to rig up the Stratic on the uh, day we're in feet, and uh, hopefully get a few flatty, and perch, and brim, and whatever else wants to buy it. Let's go do it. There's a fish. There's one. There's a flatty. Good eat. Look at that. That's a nice one too. And the risky cast looks like it will pay off. We can get a little tighter on him, but not too much. That feels a pretty good fish. That was a cool eat. Really cool eat. A good start. Oh, it's come off. He's chewed through. Whoa. Well, what was that then? Interesting. Unless he's hit a rock. That felt like it chewed through though. Man, considering that one there and the last session I had here chasing Flatty, I'm much more expecting them to come off and stay on. It's a real confidence thing. Plastics fishing sometimes. You get the hook in a couple and get them in and you just feel like you're unbeatable. But sometimes shit happens where they just keep coming off and there's not all that much you can do. We are using an electric chicken um, 1.6 jig head because I do not like the colour of this water. It's pretty dirty and only getting worse. Had a bunch of rain down south a week or two ago. Um, and so yeah, water quality is not amazing. With that water coming out from the foreshore there too, it's getting even browner. So brighter the better, I think. Flatty. Had to be a flatty. Stay on. Stay on. Bump and flatty. That's a good one too. It's not a flatty, it's a Jew. We take those ones. We take those ones bigly. It's not even a shocking Jew either. Nice fish. Come on up, bud. Oh yeah, he's not not a bad fish at all. But we get a, a healthy Jew fish. On three pounds, healthy Jewfish indeed. Good little fight, bump right on the bottom, and bang, Jewfish. Came down not long ago, and there was fuck all Jew. I don't think I got one in January. But with that bit of rain, maybe they've come inland a bit. I don't know. How do, how does that work? When do they come in the estuaries? Does anyone know? Oh, one tried to eat it on the way up. There's one. That's the one we just missed too. That's the one we just missed too. Stay on. Stay on. What do you got? Flatty or a Jew? Please be a flatty. Yes. All right. We nailed a flatty. Let's go. That is it. 100% the one we just missed. Because he is such light line and I don't usually fish for... In you go, buddy. Fish with super hard mouths. Um, I'm not used to setting hard. So now that I'm using really light rods, I mean really fucking light rods, I think uh, I just can't get scared by the bend. I need to really put the hook in them. And if I lose a couple of fish on hook sets because I'm striking too hard, so be it. But I think that might be a bit of my problem. That flatty was pinned. That hook was in. I set that hook well. I just think I, that's what I maybe need to be doing. Both fish we've caught have been against the current, which again is not how it's usually done here. But when it's running this fast, sometimes you just got to do little casts like this. Exactly like what just caught that fish. There's another one. That's the way to do it. That's a flatty too, I think. 
Nice. Yep. It's another lizard. Look at that. Rinse and fucking repeat. <laughs> There's one, yeah. Nice, good hook up. Against the tide again. Flatty, I think. Well, it could be, it could be either. Could be either. Where are we? Come here, where are ya? Jew, Taylor! He's a good Taylor. Oh, it was too. I know, because I've chewed off. <laughs> there you go. That was a pretty healthy Taylor against the tide. We haven't had a single fucking, we haven't caught a single fish casting against current yet. That might have been a fish. That was a fish. That was a fish. There we go, there's our first, just a little floody. Nope, little Moises. Little sea perch, rather. Bit of variety in this session. We didn't quite land the tailor, but I'd wager we got closer than we would on other occasions, considering how toothy those little bastards are. Oh, that's a shocking cast. That might be as bad as a cast can get. I don't like that cast at all. If we hook something in that current, it'd be good. Oh, there was a fish there. There is a fish there. No way. On the worst cast you've ever seen in your entire life. We've pinned a good floody. Well, not good floody, but a decent floody. Tell you what, it's going to be hard actually to tell because we're just winding him in this fucking 15 meter a second current. I don't even think he's that big. I don't even think he's that big. What do we got? Do we got a flatty? Oh, he's not a shocker. I've seen worse flatty. I've seen worse flatty. Not calling him a dink. Oh yeah, he's actually not a shocking fish at all. That's a half hour right flathead. State. There's another thing I like about the shoes. State. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, there you go. Good little flathead. I know. I know. Must be very frustrating to you, for you to get caught on the worst cast I've ever done. But, away she goes, pal. Do any of you follow the album of the year or like, do you have an album of the year and stuff? Like, I, I don't, honestly, I don't listen to that much new music. There's probably only a handful of albums that actually come out in the year that I listen to. And usually it's just because there's a lot of hype around them in like the communities I'm in that like same music. Um, but anyway, the Grammys or some shit, they got a hard rock album of the year and uh, Metallica won last year with 72 seasons. I could fucking care less. I didn't hear it and don't plan to. Um, anything after Justice for All is pretty, pretty much hot garbage to me, Metallica-wise. Although I have been known to say St. Anger is not as bad as they say. I would take St. Anger over the Black Album any day of the week. I know that's an unpopular opinion, but the Black Album is just fucking drunk dad butt rock. It sucks. At least St. Anger, it still sucks, trust me. St. Anger still sucks. But at least it tries to be something that doesn't suck. Uh, Black Album does not try to be anything but fucking drunk fucking wife beater wearing dad butt rock it sucks shit anyhow metallica's 72 seasons won and there was this uh meme about how spirit box should have won this is probably all gibberish to someone that isn't really into metal um but honestly like spirit box is pretty fucking popular and anyway i have tried i really have i can't fucking i don't get it i don't understand the the popularity with spirit box they are fucking flaming garbage like is it just that the, the, the lead singer chick's hot is that it is that why people listen like i hate to degrade it to that point but i can't figure out why else it fucking sucks it's literally just pop music with down-tuned guitars it's all it is it's fucking hot garbage but there's so many me like metalheads that, that genuinely like you know some pretty fucking good music and are swearing by this shit i don't fucking get it is there a song or an album that I... Well, I'm not going to listen to a whole fucking album, I promise you that. But is there a song, if there's any Spirit Box fans out there, I'm sure there is. Is there a song that I should try that would change my mind? Because I've listened to a few. I really have given it a go. Like I said, when shit's popular in the metal community, I'll give it a listen. And usually I do end up liking it. But this Spirit Box stuff, I... Oh, man. It's beyond me. Anyway, wanted to get that little rant out of the way. My album of the year, for anyone wondering, last year was um, Torture's Enduring for Freedom. Wouldn't check it out unless you are, uh, uh, if you unless you're into brutal death metal. It's uh, it was fucking tight album though, tight.
hype fucking album, man. Really good album. Like I said, though, I did not listen to a lot of a lot of new albums last year. There's a fish. Nice one. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, he's rocked me. Oh no, dude. <sighs> Fuck. New leader, new me. Let's see how we go. This tide's still ripping. This tide's still ripping. Look at this. What's going on there? Fish on. Let's go. Down in the current. Just left it sitting there. And we've got ourselves a flathead. That's not bad. We take those ones. Again, it's impossible to tell how big it is because this current is just carving. Doesn't feel the worst. Doesn't feel the worst. Uh, it's another like. It's another one of those ones that's not a dink, but it's not all that far off. It's not a shocking fish though, we'll take that. There's a fish. There's a fish. Against the current. <sighs> nice. Alright, well, another flatty. Oh, perfect release. Nice, we like those ones. There's a fish. Nice on two and gone. How did that happen? <sighs> There's a fish. There's a fish. Yep. I've gotten a bit looser because I'm fucking worried that they're eating and then hitting rocks and that's why we're losing them. So I'm loosening up now. This one feels pretty good. It doesn't feel like a small fish. What do we got? Mm, he's no dog, he's all right. Ain't no dog, he's all right. I think a, a lot of the time, oh, come here, mate. Yeah, he's not a bad flatty, actually. He's not a bad flatty. A lot of the time, these ones we're losing, it has to be the Jew that are just sucking it down, by which case, six pound liter, we're just using too light. We'll use 10 tomorrow. Um, and some of them are just hitting rocks straight away, which there's not too much you're gonna do, probably even on 10 pound, that's not gonna matter. Fish, another one, another flatty. That's two today that have been in a patch. So a little sandy or just a really light dusky. Really light dusky. Good stuff. Starting to get into the realm of like a good quantity sesh now. That's a fish, that is a fish. That is a fish. What's he doing? That is a fish. That's a nice fish. Stay on, buddy. Stay on. He didn't know what the fuck was going on, dude. He didn't know what the fuck was going on. That's a good lizard. That's a good lizard. That's the one we've been after. That's the one we've been after. How's he pinned? He's pinned okay, I think. He's actually pinned okay. Gotcha. Nice lizard. Ah, there we go. That was hard <laughs> to get him. Forgot our net. Oh, but there we go. Yeah, that's actually a pretty damn nice, pretty damn nice flathead. Honestly, I'd be worried about doing one too much bigger on this too, because that fish, when I first hooked it, it, it I couldn't move it. I had to wait for him to swim. Like he really didn't, well, that was a bend in that rod and he really didn't think too much of it. He wasn't stressed. Listen to this mullet getting smashed by the dolphins. Here they come. Look at this. <laughs> oh fish. Oh God, I might have just fucking hooked a dolphin. Oh God, can you guys take off from here? Can I just have this part? I don't want to hook a fucking dolphin. Stratix are good reels, but I'm pretty sure the gears are getting stripped if I hook a dolphin bro. <laughs> all right, are they all gone? Shit, I tried to put the hook in that too. Bloody hell. Oh, good fish, good fish, good fish. Good fish, good fish. Just there on the drop off, we were tight as because that fucking was snagged before. Good fish, right on that drop off. 
Probably only just got the camera on for it. It's a flatty for sure. Feels a pretty good one. Even with current, that feels pretty good. It's a Jew, even better. Let's go. We take them ones. Nice. Wow, that's crazy. The first Jew was electric chicken too, wasn't it? That's the f that we've only thrown electric chicken probably five or six times today. We've caught two Jewfish on it. We've been throwing pink all the other times, and we haven't caught one. <sighs> nice one. That was an angry eat. I thought it was a flatty come off off come up off the bottom to smash it, but no, it's a Jew. They do like pink too usually, but that's two on electric chicken today. Hell, they Jew fish. Gosh, they're fun. They're angry fish and they fight hard. Good stuff. What do you guys think, mate, of end of UFC 300's gonna be? We should know by the time this is out. Surely we'll know by the time this is out. Yeah, we'd have to, I'm just thinking about it. Otherwise, we're fucking not gonna know till the night of, just about. It's been teased a lot, and Jesus Christ. <sighs> There's a fish. Might be a Jew. Might be a Jew. Might be a Jew. Might be a Jew. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Swim out, not in. Swim out, not in. I think that is a Jewfish too. I'd put money on that being a Jewfish. Electric chicken again. I reckon we found another Jewfish. Could be a flatty too. Uh, okay, yeah, no, that's uh, not a Jewfish. Not a bad flatty. That was a good eat. Real good eat. Oh, he's not a shocking fish. He's okay. We haven't really caught any small flatty today. They've all been like close to that legal mark with one really nice fish. Like, it's been hyped to be a really good main event, which it's probably not going to be looking at the options of what it could be, but the people talking shit on the card are legitimately insane. It is like, if you look at the card, it's fucking crazy. Like just in terms of cards, it might be the best card ever. No shit. Like it may not be the best card, like once the fights play out, but on paper, I mean, Jesus Christ is a good card. Like these people, well, I don't know what the fuck they expected. Seriously. I don't know what they expected, but anyway, I think, and you guys will probably already know, so you can't really guess unless this comes out early and it's still not out. But uh, if I had to guess, I reckon it's going to be, I reckon there's two potential fights and I'd put money on it being one of the two. I think it'll be Pereira and Adesanya for the light heavyweight title or Pereira and uh, Tupac for the middleweight title. I think it's more likely to be the latter. Um, because they've been talking about just they've got to hammer down the last details and stuff. I don't think either Adesanya or Pereira would have any qualms about fighting each other at light heavyweight. So I think if there's, there's enough fish, I think if there's problems, it's probably because Duplessis wants a good payday to fight again so early. It's a big cut to middleweight for him. Um, and to do it so soon after taking a fair bit of damage in the Strickland fight, let's just be honest. Um, it's a, it's a tall ask. He said he didn't want to fight at 300, so it would make sense if that were the fight. But I would be willing to put money that Adesanya will be in the main event of 300. Not 100% sure what fight. I mean, shit, there's even a chance they do Adesanya and Kamzat. I mean, that would be a pretty whack main event, but they might. I just hope to fucking God it's not Bilal Muhammad and um, Leon Edwards. Jesus Christ. That would be such a fucking laugh, wouldn't it? And looking back now, we, I tell you what, we started rough, but we have finished really, really well. We've finished on top. There's another fish. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's gotta be a genuinely good fish, doesn't it? That's gotta be a genuinely good fish, doesn't it? Please stay on. Please stay on. Keep swimming out there. Keep swimming out there. That has to be a genuinely good fish, doesn't it? Feels flighty-ish. It's right where those other two were just then. I reckon that head shake's flighty-ish for sure. This has to be a half okay fish. At least a half okay fish. Jeez, he's heavy. Look at that, he's heavy. Oh, come on. There's leader, but I've got a lot of it. That's a flighty. Yeah, he's a, he's a nice fish, yeah. It's another nice flighty. God damn. Gotcha. How? <laughs> nice. All right, another good flighty. That's two nice fish. Just like you want to have a good session to start the trip, you don't want to cut finger to start the trip because then you've got four more days of fishing. Bait and filthy shit getting into it. That's a nice lizard. 
Jeez, you could knock a fillet or two off him. But I'm a very kind gentleman who doesn't wish to do such a thing to you, Mr. Flathead. I'm in the uh, kiss and release boat, that's for sure. Okay. See you, buddy. Not quite a spear, but he looks just fine. Fish. Yep. Yep. Had to be. Man, it is so turned on right now. Hoping this session never ends. He doesn't feel too bad. He feels heavy and he feels like he doesn't quite know what's happening just yet. He does not feel too bad. Would not shock me if he's about the size of the last one. We'll have a look. What have we got? Flatty? Haven't seen him. Still haven't seen him. Yep, Flatty, another one. Yeah, he's about the same size as the last one. It's another nice fish. Holy dooly. Smoking him. Fuck, I wish I remembered my net, you know? All right, let's get on out of here. Good session. That was a ball of fun. Highlight was that first nice Flatty. Second one was bigger, but Tell you what, we needed to get that monkey off our back because that uh, we dropped a few fish that were around that size beforehand, but confidence is back to a good level. I said at the start, the last flatty app we filmed there was a struggle. We didn't have the best of times. So confidence was low to start. It's pretty high now. That was a great sesh. Good to see a few dew fish out too. Love a nice one of them this trip. Um, but if we can catch them in some good numbers, I'll be happy too. So. Great start. Would you rather be anywhere else? The answer is no for me. Time to have a rum in the pool. <laughs>